Lesson 109 is on corresponding parts and similar figures. So here I have two triangles and that they are congruent, which means the same. And I want to know what the perimeter of each triangle is. So if the two triangles are the same, then I know that this side and this side are equal, and that this side and this side are equal, and that this side and this side have to be the same. So I'm going to fill in my missing numbers in both triangles. So this 3 is going to be the same as this side here, so that's going to be 3. And this 5 is going to be the same as this side here, 5. Okay. Now I can find out the perimeter. So I'm going to do 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12. So my perimeter is 12 inches, and it's the same for both triangles. Hey, okay, here it says the two triangles, triangles below are similar. That means that they are the same shape, but they're not necessarily the same size. Okay. But if they're the same shape, that means that the angles are going to be the same on both triangles. Okay. So here I have angle A and I have angle B. So it wants to know what is the measure of angle A. So I need to figure out which one of these angles on this triangle is the, is the same so angle as angle A. Well, angle A is a very small angle, so I'm going to look, and it looks like that angle A is the same as this angle up here. So angle A is equal to 30 degrees. Now if I asked you for angle B, well angle B is bigger than angle A, so that means angle B must be this one here, 60 degrees, because the other two angles are my right angles. Alright, here I have that I have these two rectangles are similar to each other. And I want to know the ratio of corresponding sides. By what scale factor is rectangle ABCD larger than rectangle EFGH? So they're similar, that means that they're pretty much the same, and the angles are going to be the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and find the ratios. So for example, side AB, okay, is two centimeters to one. Okay, I'm going to look at the same side on my smaller rectangle. So here I have it's one centimeter. Okay, so the ratio, excuse me, is two, two for my big one, two, one for my small one, a small tri rectangle. Okay, so that's the ratio of the that side. So let's find the ratio of the top. So I have 4 centimeters, so my other ratio is going to be 4 to my, the top of my other rectangle, which is 2. Okay. Now if I reduce both of these, I end up with, they both equal 2. So these two ratios are equal to each other. So the, the scale factor is a scale factor of... 2. Rectangle ABCD is 2 times bigger than rectangle EFGH. Okay, so my answer would be 2. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.